Recovering memory and identity, this is how Iraq's foreign minister describes the return of these antiquities from the United States. We have received 17,321 pieces from the United States, nine from Japan, seven from the Netherlands and one from Italy. Therefore, the total number is 17,338 returned pieces this year. Dated between 3,700 and 4,000 years ago, some of these artifacts were looted from the National Museum in Baghdad. Others were excavated from archaeological sites across the country. We have on our side local laws, international conventions, and the laws of the countries which our antiquities were smuggled to. So smugglers are condemned by such laws and will eventually be forced to return the pieces. According to the Culture Ministry in Baghdad, most of the pieces relate to trade deals during the Sumerian period, one of the earliest known civilizations in Mesopotamia, now southern Iraq. One in particular, though, was the Gilgamesh Dream Tablet, with text from one of the world's oldest works of literature. During years of conflict in Iraq, thousands of antiquities have been looted and archaeological sites destroyed. Officials here say many precious artifacts are still unaccounted for. Thousands of priceless items went missing from the National Museum in Baghdad after the 2003 U.S.-led invasion. And ancient statues and monuments were either destroyed by ISIL or under consecutive Iraqi governments suffered damage and neglect. The thousands of returned artifacts are now back in Baghdad for Iraqis who feared they'd lost a huge part of their heritage to enjoy. Mahmoud Abdul Wahid, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.